Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mubin Zulafkars. So, today we are going to look at sensitive analysis of Microsoft Excel. This is Microsoft Excel 2016. In a business scenario where we want to look at different combinations of sensitive analysis, is basically type of analysis where you look at different combination of assumptions and you examine the result. So here we are going to look at the different number a different number of unit sold different number of unit sold and different price points to look at the points at these different combinations so I set up a very simple financial model we have assumptions let's assume uh, this is the chair sold thousand chair sold and uh, this one is the price per chair is $150 and the cost per chair is $15 and uh, and uh, the rent of our store is $10,000 and the payout is $50,000 so look at our income statement yeah profit and loss we have a revenue the this is the revenue is one lakh fifty thousand dollars and this is uh, how it comes it comes from multiplication of uh, row b7 and uh, multiplication of b7 and b8 means it's a uh, multiplication of chairs or and the price uh, per year after entering this is the value and uh, this is the cost of sales is 50,000 this is comes from uh, after multiplication of uh, B7 and B9 uh, after multiplication of $50 multiplied by 100 years is uh, 50,000 so this is the gross profit after um, minus from after minus cost of sales from revenue um, it means uh, B16 minus B17 the gross profit is one lakh dollars and uh, this is the other in uh, interest and other taxes and other includes this is the $16,000 our other expenses uh, 60,000 this is the rent and the payout total uh, b10 and b11 this is are uh, the expenses of rent and uh, payout uh, after additions the value is uh, 60000 after deducting of the rent and payout expenses from the gross profit the value is operating profit is the operating profit after b18 minus b19 our operating profit is $14000 so this is a uh, 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 simply so we can say that this is the data table so uh, in this So in the row side, this is the chair sold. We have assumed uh, 500 chairs and 750 chairs and the thousand dollar, which is our current estimations of chair sold, and this is 1250 values and uh, uh, 1500 chairs. Uh, in the column sides, uh, this is our uh, current uh, price per chair is $150 we assume that and this is a below uh, values uh, and this one is also a below of uh, $150 uh, and this one is also this is uh, $175 uh, uh, above the $150 of price per chair and is, it is uh, $2,200 price per chair uh, in the column size these are the price we assume that and in the row side these are the chair source we assume that 
this is our uh, operating profit is come from uh, b20 uh, this is you can see that is a b20 column operating profit uh, after assuming uh, simply uh, we go to data uh, uh, tables and uh, in the option of uh, analysis and data tables so we can select in the row input cell the uh, chair source value and in the column input uh, cell uh, we will select uh, b20 150 dollars price per share these are the prices uh, you can see that if in the price of $75 we can sell 500 shares the uh, operating profit is, is negative and uh, in the same price 75 uh, if the if I sell 750 shares the price is uh, the operating profit is also negative and 1000 is also negative if we sell shares and in 1250 years in the price of 75 dollars the price is also negative and uh, in 1500 years uh, uh, 1500 years uh, the price 75 dollar we also in the negative operating profit you can see that if we uh, sold 500 shares in the price of 100 dollars the value negative 750 shares in the value of uh, in the value of hundred dollars in the price of hundred values the price is also negative uh, thousand air uh, thousand shares sold in the price of uh, hundred dollars the operating profit is also negative this one is if we sell 1250 shares in the price of hundred dollars the price the operating profit is positive but we also see that we assume that we assume so that uh, our assumptions our operating profit is 40,000 from our given data which is our all estimations so 2500 uh, uh, 2500 is less than the operating profit so the it's uh, it's less than our current operating profit so we can neglect it and uh, here is the 1500 shares and the price is hundred dollars uh, it's 50,000 which is below than our current operating profit and you can see that 125 uh, uh, 500 shares uh, 125 price in in 500 shares and 50 shares and uh, same below that fifteen thousand dollars is less than the operating profit thirty three thousand seven fifty up uh, seven fifty less than the our current operating profit and five two five zero zero obviously it is uh, higher than our operating profit we but we not assuming that we are selling 1500 shares our previous assumption is to sell only thousand shares so we also neglect five to five hundred five zero zero dollars operating profit so in the price of 150 uh, we sell if 500 shares we are also in a negative operating profit if we sell 750 shares in the price of 150 we also in 15,000 it's a positive but uh, it is less than the our estimation operating profit assumptions of operating profit so here is the our current uh, operating profit after we, uh, we assuming before uh, 150 dollars price and the thousand shares um, uh, after multiplication is 40,000 dollar which is our current operating profit and uh, you can see that 65,000 is higher than 40,000 and 90,000 if we assume uh, Michael, uh, 